Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this very exciting video of algebra challenging problems, we are going to take up straight away two problems. One is on simplification of expression and second problem is on factorization. First expression is a square root 1 plus x square plus a square root 1 plus x square plus x power 4 we have to simplify. And expression a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca we have to factorize. If you want to attempt by your own, attempt it and then cross check with the solutions. So let's get started. I will begin with radicand term. This term separately. 1 plus x square plus a square root 1 plus x square plus x power 4. Then again one radicand is there. I will consider this radicand separately again. So I will write 1 plus x square plus x power 4. Few manipulation steps I will use here. x power 4 it can be written as as it is. 2x square I will split 2x square minus x square in this manner. Plus 1. So from x power 4 2x square and 1. I will collect x power 4 plus 2x square plus 1 in one bracket minus x square. And this is one perfect square, x square plus one whole square minus x square, difference of two squares. I will apply and I will write x square plus one plus x, x square plus one minus x. Let's apply directly over there. So I will write one plus x square plus a square root x square plus 1 plus x, x square plus 1 minus x. Done. Now what I will consider the second algebraic trick or manipulation you can say. I will divide by 2 and multiply with 2. So I will write 2 plus 2x two square plus 2 times square root x square plus 1 plus x unchanged x square plus 1 minus x. Now I will write this term as x square plus 1 here, x square plus 1 here, 2x square plus 2 in this split form. Then I will write plus x, then I will write minus x here, just see. I added and subtracted x, rest is as it is, 2 times square root x square plus 1 plus x, x square plus 1 minus x and half is as, as it is. Now if I will give substitution here, see let me show you. Consider this is p, consider this is q. So p plus q plus 2 times root of pq. So this is again one formula which is half times p plus q plus 2 times root pq root p plus root q whole square. Now see what is p what is q we are going to put this value here okay this complete value. So in the original radical expression so let's put over there. So I will write our, our conclusion is this value we have calculated. So I will write, let me write here. I will write this is root p plus root q over 2 and this is whole square, numerator whole square. Okay. Now I will split this in format square root root p plus root q whole square divided by root 2. Now you can cancel this square and square root. So what would be left? Root p plus root q over root 2. What is p? x square plus 1 plus x. What is q? x square plus 1 minus x. And denominator is root 2. This is our answer. Check it. 
Now come to the question number two. We have to factorize the given expression. So I will begin with cube root of unity concept. We know that one plus omega plus omega square equal to zero. Second point omega cube is one. So we can consider omega power four as omega, omega power five as omega cube, omega square, and so on. This is what we know. Okay. So from the first equation, this equation, I can also write omega plus omega square value that would be minus one. So mainly I will use these results of cube root of unities. So let me write our expression first. A square plus B square plus C square. Then I will write AB plus BC plus CA. Then I will write minus one. I took minus one common. Now in that minus one place, in this place, I will use this identity. So let us use A square plus B square plus C square plus AB plus BC plus CA. Times omega plus omega square. Now I have to split this. Means I will use distributive law, and I will expand it. So how I can write? I will write omega times a b plus b c plus c a plus omega square times same thing a b plus b c plus c a. Done. Now there are nine terms written over there. I will write these nine terms in this order, in this way: a square plus a b omega plus c a omega square. In second bracket, I will write out of these nine terms, I will write b square plus a b omega square plus b c omega. And last three terms, I will write c square plus a c omega plus b c omega square now from first bracket i will consider a common okay let us take a common what would be left a plus b omega plus c omega square from second term second bracket from here we took a common now from here we will take b omega square common so b omega square so what it would be left with b omega because we know that omega cube is equal to 1 you can see it is b square overall so once you will take these two products these two product b omega square times b omega omega cube is 1 so b square will be as it is similarly i will write a b omega square then i will consider so b is omega square is common remove this one so i will remove this one okay so what is left a b so i will remove b also plus c omega square plus c omega from the third third bracket c omega square plus a plus b omega okay you can see now all the three brackets are identical a plus b omega plus c omega square a plus b omega plus c omega square so i will take a plus b omega plus c omega square common so what would be left overall a plus b omega plus c omega square and from first term i will write a plus b omega square plus from the third bracket i will write c omega so this is our final result after factorization i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck